because the night before Christmas and sisters around the globe tempted the fates as they carried a tremendous load of Republicans versus Democrats, along with their political gains, where even in a pandemic, their rhetoric remained the same. These sisters decided to take a stand and crying forth their displeasure, took matters into their own hands, removing rogue politicians for good measure. When wonders of wonders, but who should appear? It wasn't a little brown man, nor eight tiny reindeers. It was women. From Georgia to Texas, from the East Coast to the Pacific, women stood for democracy. They changed the horrific. They registered people from near and far, telling these politicians, tear down that wall. They didn't just remind people to vote. They carried the message to us all. These sisters of the world came up with a plan to stop the attack on democracy. And with that banner, they ran. And wondrous outcomes, did they finally behold? Because inside that plan, girlfriends, I tell you, was gold. Within this plan, they gained wisdom and then added some style. And the deeper they dug, it got wild, simply wild. And added to the fray and gift wrapped real tight was a new attitude and past wrongs made right. And last, but not least, included in this radiance was spirit and hope and a dash of divine guidance. And so as the story goes, with no second guessing, we were left with a lifetime of strength, a basket full of blessings, and I, growing wiser, embraced them all real tight with a Merry Christmas to each of us and to all a good life. A Sister Christmas by P.K. McCary.